Good morning to all of our communities across the Cayman Islands. I wish you all a safe and a happy Easter weekend. Since mid-March, His Excellency the Governor, the Honourable Premier, the Minister for Health, Minister Seymour, and our Chief Medical Officer, Dr. John Lee, have been providing daily media briefings, continuously highlighting the dangers and risks posed by COVID-19 pandemic here in the Cayman Islands. The risks and dangers could not have been highlighted in any stronger fashion. They are here, they are very real, and the risks are very tangible. I think we are all very conscious of the traditions in the Cayman Islands around the Easter bank holiday weekend, particularly as it relates to activities across our public beaches. However, this is not a normal Easter weekend for any of us. We are forced to look at the way business is conducted and how the laws are enforced to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. At the same time, we are conscious of the need for persons to attend to basic needs during this challenging period, as in going to the supermarket, pharmacy, and possibly to the gas station. We understand the need for persons and families to be able to exercise, to stay fit and well, but all of this needs to be done in a very controlled and responsible manner. Today, I'm making a special announcement to address the very clear and present risk that prevails here in the, in the communities across the Cayman Islands, articulated by the Governor, the Premier, the Minister and Dr Lee. In consultation with His Excellency the Governor of the Cayman Islands, I issued a curfew order prohibiting access to any public beach across the Cayman Islands during any period on public holiday Easter Monday, tomorrow the 13th of April 2020. To clarify this position, means this curfew is in effect a hard curfew or full lockdown of all public beaches across the Cayman Islands which prohibits any person or persons from entering, walking, swimming, snorkeling, fishing, exercising or engaging in any type of marine activity on public beaches throughout the Cayman Islands at any time tomorrow Easter Monday. And this hard curfew will continue and will run until 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning the 14th of April 2020 at 5 a.m. A public beach means the portion of the beach that ends at the high water mark. This will be of particular interest to persons residing in beachside resorts. I remind all persons that a breach of a hard curfew order is a criminal offence carrying a penalty of 3,000 Cayman dollars and imprisonment for one year or both. And the legal framework for this hard curfew order is contained at section 49.1 of the Police Law 2017 revision. Tomorrow, Easter Monday, the 13th of April 2020, supermarkets, pharmacies and gas stations will be open and will operate under the terms of the soft curfew. This will allow persons with surnames in the A to K alphabet range to be away from their homes to attend of any of these specified needs. The exercise period not exceeding 90 minutes between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. will also be permitted. Food deliveries will also be permitted until 9 p.m. by exempted and authorized restaurant and food outlets. Can I also take this opportunity to mention gatherings in condominium complexes? It is being widely reported that large groups of persons are congregating within community complexes, socializing and drink drinking in breach of the COVID-19 uh, suppression regulations. In addition to being a criminal offence, it is also a high-risk activity at this critical time as we seek to contain and control the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Our helicopter and marine units will be on extended patrol monitoring marine and ground activities. Police mobile and static patrols will be in place across the islands, monitoring movements of vehicles and persons around the islands. Our ATVs and foot patrols will be on duty on public beaches to impose the hard curfew order. I appeal to all of our communities to work within the requirements of the soft and hard curfews as we seek to protect lives at this critical and challenging time. And I thank you.